Hello ladies and gents and welcome to my Battlefield 4 Second Assault Weapons Unlock Guide. The Second Assault DLC is out in the wilds now and I'm sure many of you guys have had the chance to play and revisit some of those BF3 maps, but how many of you have actually managed to unlock all of the new guns yet? If you haven't done it or don't know how to, this guide will show you the way. The first weapon I'll be showing you how to unlock and arguably the sexiest of the bunch is the Gold Magnum making its return from Battlefield Bad Company 2. This is a meaty bolt action sniper rifle with a shockingly fast cycle rate and a great sound. It's an absolute beast and some people are finding it hard to unlock. The assignment for this weapon is called Eagle's Nest and the requirements are as follows. Get one sniper rifle ribbon and in one round kill five players from the Caspian or Firestorm Towers. Okay. Pretty simple and you can complete this task easy peasy in a few minutes on Operation Firestorm. Don't try this one on Caspian Border, trust me. Find yourself a conquest server on Firestorm and spawn in with your favourite bolt action sniper rifle. The M98B or the SRR are a great choice. Head over to the large tower. Now before you go up there, hit the button to remove any snipers that might be camping on the top. You can also place a claymore near the ladder for added protection. Don't forget to double up. Now whatever you do, don't climb all the way to the top, that's a bad idea, it's very dangerous. The second or the third level works great. From here you'll get a good view of the entire map and you're guaranteed to find players that are easy to pick off. In particular try to look out for scope glints from other recons, they stand still the most and are easy targets once you get your zero in dialed in. So for one sniper rifle ribbon you need to kill six enemies with sniper rifles and from this position you shouldn't have a problem with that. If you're struggling with getting five kills from the tower you don't have to use a sniper rifle remember, you can always use an assault rifle or even something like an SROR or a Stinger to take out transport helicopters from this position. I managed to complete this assignment in a couple of minutes from this tower using the SROR SRR, you can kill two birds with one stone, it's probably the easiest way to do it in my opinion. Right, the next unlock the Dow 12 shotgun, and the assignment for this is called Dead Stop. The requirements for picking up this rapid fire shotgun are very simple and easy to obtain. Get one shotgun ribbon, i.e. kill six enemies with a shotgun, and raise or lower the Caspian border gate. So here's how you do it. Step 1. Join a Caspian border conquest server. Step 2 press this button. Step 3, go over to the D flag and kill 6 people with shotguns. Boom. There you go, Dow 12, cake bread. If you're having trouble getting 6 shotgun kills on Caspian Border, you could always switch to your favourite Grindfest server, which of course is running Operation Metro or Operation Locker. You'll easily get 6 shotgun kills on these maps. Enjoy your new weapon. What's next? Well young Padawan, it's the M60 E4 light machine gun, otherwise known as the Pig. The assignment for this one is called Dust Devil and to be John Rambo you've got to achieve the following. Get one anti-vehicle ribbon, so that's destroying two vehicles in one match, and also to destroy five vehicles in total on Gulf of Oman. That one isn't in one match, you can do it over the period of a few games if you want to. So obviously you want to join a Conquest Large Gulf of Oman server. Now as you know, there are several ways of destroying vehicles in this game. And for this assignment, I'd say playing as an engineer is probably the smart choice. If you prefer to blow vehicles up on foot, take some slams and something like the SROR or the RPG. Play slams in random locations and on empty vehicles, so if enemies get in and start driving, they'll explode and get you a couple of kills. Your SROR is also a great tool for taking out vehicles far away from you and from behind cover. Use it wisely and it's a very effective tool. If you prefer killing vehicles with other vehicles, then the tanks and the LAVs on this level are super powerful, especially when the sandstorm rolls in and you've got the element of surprise. Of course, you could always jump in the attack helicopters or the jets, but I feel like they're a little underpowered on this level and you're going to get shot down pretty quickly unless you're a really good pilot. Overall, this assignment is pretty simple to be honest, just go trigger happy with the explosives and you'll have yourself the pig in no time. Okay, the next weapon to unlock is the elusive F2000 which comes with its own exclusive 1.6 magnification sight. Sam Fisher would be pretty jealous right now. This weapon is fantastic in close quarters and it looks pretty cool. 
but it won't serve you well at medium or longer ranges. Stick to the tight infantry maps if you want to use this weapon effectively. To unlock it, you've got to get the express train assignment. The requisites for that are as follows. Get one assault rifle ribbon, so that's kill six enemies with assault rifles in a match. Get two kill assist ribbons, so that's five kill assists per ribbon, therefore ten kill assists in total. And finally, get ten kills inside the metro. Again, this assignment does have a map specific element, therefore the easiest way to complete it is to probably join a high ticket 64 player conquest large metro server and get yourself stuck in. Killing 6 enemies with assault rifles is simple as cake, aim fire reload, aim fire reload, rinse and repeat. Getting 10 kill assists should happen naturally on a metro server, just hang around by the B point and shoot at whatever you see. Using incendiary grenades or minis is an easy way to get kill assists and sometimes you can even try purposefully not killing an opponent, just shoot them a few times and stop shooting and let your teammate finish them off. The final part of the assignment is to get 10 kills inside the metro and I believe that this is area specific rather than just anywhere on the operation metro map. When it says inside the metro it basically means anywhere not outside. So if you're playing on Conquest Large, inside the metro is point C and B and not point A because that's outside. So as long as you're in the tunnels or in the station area, those kills should count towards the unlock. Playing Rush is also a great way to get this assignment once you've passed the first set of MCOMs. The tunnel and metro area becomes a target rich environment, plenty of opportunities for kills and kill assists there. Brilliant, the fifth and final unlock is the AS Val, a high rate of fire engineer only weapon that has a built in suppressor. It's not an amazing gun to be honest, it could really do with some more rounds in the magazine, plus it's pretty boring to unlock and that's why I, uh, that's why I left it till last. To get this one, you got to obtain the co-pilot assignment. This means spending 10 minutes in helicopters and doing 10 squad repairs. Yippee, sounds like a load of fun. The easiest and least painful way to unlock this weapon is to play on a map like Goldmud Railway. Join a squad with a couple of mates and spawn in either a transport helicopter or Little Bird slash Z11. Take one of the side seats and repair the helicopter whenever it takes damage. It really is very uninteresting and you're going to yawn on multiple occasions. Keep in mind time spent in any helicopter counts attack helis are allowed and you can get squad repairs from repairing land vehicles as well as air vehicles. A squad repair is a squad repair at the end of the day. Once you've unlocked the AS Val, give yourself a pat on the back soldier, well done, you've got the five new weapons and it wasn't as hard as you thought it would be, right? Killing's as easy as breathing. I hope you enjoyed this one folks, I've got to go now and begin my training for the Great British Bake Off, leave a rating and a comment, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.